What's good, Brando? 97 on the box, drip a drown backstage with a little kid. Yeah, man, you talk to him, talk to him real quick, man. What's going on? Shoot, you tell me. You the one, Everything. you the one shining, man. Oh, yeah, for sure. Shoot, nameless doing all kind of crazy numbers, like, like everybody on thr- everybody on trailer trying to dance to and shit. Yeah. I like Triller back too, and let y'all know. Oh, I you know started. You, you, started you, back you up. it was Lil Nas X then you, or was it the other way around? No, it was me first. You first? Yes. Oh, man. All right, so tell us about Nameless, man. Like, what was the concept behind it? What drove you to push the record? No, I wasn't. Like, I was just in there rapping. I had I made a lot of songs that night. It was just one of the songs I made. Mm-hmm. And I didn't know it was going to be like be big as what it is right yeah. now. You feel me? Yeah. It's it like, just a song. I just, I'm in there just rapping, just doing what I normally do. Yeah. A lot I of Yeah. A lot of times when like artists have like they create a process, what they do is they just they just go in. They yeah. don't they don't let's say they don't come out until they feel like comfortable with something. It's like yeah. you say that's something like your process? No, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm it gonna come out regardless. <laughs> you dig? So, yeah. That's crazy. I'm, I'm good for about I do about six, seven. Six or seven songs a night. Mm. Like, how long do you like kind of dedicate yourself to being in the studio? Like, it's just every day. Simple. Every day. This is my first time not being in the studio every night, like, cause I'm on tour. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So some nights we might get the studio, or some nights we might not go to the studio. You feel me? It just depends on the vibe. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people when they speak of Atlanta, they talk about who got next every single time. Like, if Future blow up, then Thug blow up. If Thug mm-hmm. blow up, then Gunna blow up. Then Gunna blow up. Then Baby glow, glow, glow up, and then and apparently next is you. Yeah, me. I say, is it a is it a scary feeling to have like all? I say, do you feel like it's pressure? Nah, I just be, I just be chilling, bro. <laughs> I let everything just unfold itself. You yeah, say, I don't be putting on pressure on too much stuff. Yeah, I really just be living life. Just seeing like seeing different parts of the world and shit. You feel me? Yeah, like before rap, what was like your main like? What was the main thing you wanted to do? Was you always wanted to just rap and sell and sell records and just be nah, flossing? It just shine. came about. Yeah, I ain't did this one like I want growing up like oh, I want to be a rapper. No, mm-hmm. I was playing basketball. Mm-hmm. I know I played basketball real good. Yeah, and I just just playing around with my little brother. Little got it. Mm-hmm. We just be in that in that room writing rhymes and stuff like that. Yeah, and, and up there rapping. Like, wait, wait. What was uh, your number one? Like, who's your favorite hooper growing up? I like. I used to like Jeff T. Je- wow, that's some real Atlanta shit to say you were a, a yeah, hell of Jeff T. He, fan. He with the Hawks. Yeah, yeah he that, was balling. Yeah, like a lot of I say a lot of people would have said Kobe, yeah. KD, Braun. You said Jeff T. Yeah, I am proud of you. I'm. I'm I gotta give you your props now. For I gotta sure. give you your props because you did some a lot different. Like a lot of people wouldn't go like, yo, I love the hometown guy. Cause like right now we got Rockets, we got Warriors. Yeah. Must say playoffs going on right now. So downtown right now is a zoo. Must say they got Dripper Drawn show. They got Astros going on. Everything going on. Everything going on. Like this is ground zero for everything. Houston parked up. So basically, like if you going to come here, you are gonna turn up. You then you gonna go to the Rockets game, or you might do it the other way around. You might go to the Rockets game, leave by third quarter, come over here. Come over here. That's with y'all. Don't fuck with that. Yeah, man. I just got some shit on my fucking pants, man. (sighs) Not the fear of God joints, dog. Yeah. Ah, oh, I just bought you motherfucker today, too. Oh, wait. Did you tear up the mall, Gunner? Yeah. Did you tear up the mall today? Yeah. Nah, I just, I just bought a little so I ain't really. Oh, you ain't go too hard? I ain't go hard. Nah. Like, do you, I say, when you normally just out and about, like, you just really feeling yourself, like, how hard do you go just saying, like, nah, I got to get my swag or super hard? I go to, like, I go shopping every day. I got a lot of clothes, bro. <laughs> no cap. That is. A lot of shoes. I what? got a lot of FO white, FO one. I might wear them one time to wear them again, so I might be having, like, so many pair of FO one. I might buy, I don't know how many pair of white for ones I buy a month. You are literally, you are single handedly keeping the Air Force One economy in stock. Yes. Cause like, shoot, 15 years ago, Nelly was doing that. Now yeah. it's you. Like, Saturday, everybody was going out trying to get the Jordan Fours and you didn't get them. You ain't get them? Didn't get them. Dang. Atlanta, they were sold out and then nobody had them in Atlanta. Like, they sold out. Like, you had to have a ticket and all this shit. But you was like, get them like before they even come out, but right. he didn't get them. I don't know what the hell happened. Yeah, you might have to hit I'm your plug really up. I'm really mad about that. You might have to really hit your plug them. up and ask him what, what we're I really wrong. want them. I ain't going to lie. Hey, man, them double board fours, man. Them, them double board fours, man. They go super, super hard, man. So, I'm going to say, getting back to tour, what has tour life been like for you, man? Because, like, everybody else been like, yo, it's been crazy, hitting yeah. all these shows, seeing the world. Yeah, same thing. I'm going to say, has there been a favorite stop so far? Um, The first two shows, um, I, for, damn, I forgot where they, where they was at, but the first two shows were piped up. Like, uh-huh. Pipe, but it was in LA. It was on the West Coast. Yeah, it was in LA. Yeah, 
Nah, I think I think you got the type of music where I think it doesn't matter like where you I got at. concert music. Exactly. Like you got pure like the, I know another person I know that has like pure like concert music, like straight turn up music, Travis Scott. Yeah. Like the both of y'all had that music. Like if you hear that like you can ride with it, yeah, it's cool. But if you like in a group of people, they gonna rock with it. It's a whole different vibe. It's, concert, it's a whole different vibe. Like, like everybody can't make concert music. Nah, they can't. Like Kanye used to call it stadium music. When you yeah. like graduation, that's a stadium album. Like you play some of them records, this whole building go up. Yeah, for sure. So, what do you think it's gonna be like tonight when you hear when they hear Nameless? Ain't nobody finna see this. Oh, I know they are. I'm asking you because I want you. I want you to tell the it's people. It's gonna be crazy. Lights, girls screaming. They gonna pause. You gonna let them hear it. You gonna hear them yelling. Yeah. You gonna, you gonna, you gonna see. Yeah. All right, Shit man. Crazy, man. All right, man. Brando nine seven nine the box. Tell the people where they can find you, at, man. Um, one little key on Instagram and Twitter. Go follow me. Again, ATL keep coming with him. ATL yeah. just keep coming with him, man. Yeah, dig. Yeah, little key. Keep talking to him. My man, thank you so much, man. For sure, thank you for having oh. me. Oh, Brando, 97 on the box. Schlink. Get it. Schlink.